What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn my three month blogging plan for beginners with a low budget. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How, and I help people learn how to use technology to build an online business and create a life of freedom. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the three month plan or what you can do in month one, month two, and month three to get your blog started on the right foot. We're gonna go through each of the different steps and some very important things that you need to make sure you do in your first three months of blogging. So make sure you stick around to the end. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed with those notifications so you can see all of our future upcoming videos. All right, let's jump in right to it. All right, so in month number one, you're going to want to make sure you sign up for my free blogging course. I've got a free course with a link right below this video that will teach you step-by-step -step how to start your blog or website. It's gonna take you through how to find a domain name, how to purchase a domain name, how to set up web hosting, how to install WordPress, all the step-by-step -step things that you need to know to get your blog started. I'm just gonna to touch really briefly though in this video about the course, a little bit about what it talks about and some of the essential steps that you need to take in month one of getting your blog set up. So the first thing you're going to need to do that the course talks about is you're going to need to find a domain name. Now I talk about how to use name mesh to find popular domain names and come up with ideas if you might be stuck trying to find an available domain name. And once you've found your domain name, I recommend going to namecheap.com to purchase your domain name. And in the course we talk about how to do this, how to purchase your domain name, and then how to set up your blog hosting. Blog hosting is one of the most important aspects of starting your blog in month one. You need to find a reliable hosting provider. There's a lot of different hosting providers out there that do a great job of hosting WordPress blogs. And honestly, you know, you can't go wrong with a lot of them. I've tested out a lot of them. I've done research about a lot of them. And the one that I use and I feel comfortable recommending to people is SiteGround. And so I teach the SiteGround method of how to start your blog. You can get SiteGround hosting for like as low as $3.95 a month. So like for the cost of a cheeseburger, every month you're getting your very own WordPress self-hosted blog, which is a huge advantage to using any other type of platform like Wix or Squarespace or any of those other platforms. A WordPress self-hosted blog is much better for a lot of reasons that I talk about in some other videos here on my channel. So after you purchase your domain name and hosting, you're gonna to need to install WordPress. And we talk about how to install WordPress through SiteGround, how to get started designing your homepage. Okay, let's jump back into what we need to do in month number one. So here's month one. We've already got our blog set up, let's say, okay? So some of the tasks you wanna, you're gonna wanna do with your WordPress blog is first, you're going to want to focus on your homepage, okay? Your homepage is where people land when they come to your domain. So if you look at my blog, I'll just jump right here to it really quick. You jump to my blog, right here, this page that you land on is the homepage. So that's gonna be one of the first things that you're gonna wanna design once you have WordPress and everything installed. This is gonna be probably in week one of setting up your blog. Next is what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to build your about us and contact pages. Now, whether or not people actually visit those pages or contact you early on in the blogging process, this is very important in Google's eyes. Google really likes to see an about us page and a contact, and a contact page. I would also maybe throw in there terms of service or a privacy policy, okay? I would definitely consider throwing those in as well. With the new like GDPR regulations, out, you, you may not have heard of that, but basically it's a regulation that just came out that uh, says to collect personal information on a blog, you need to have a privacy policy. So I'd work on building those pages. The next thing I would do in month one is set up your menus and widgets. Your menus and widgets, let me show you really quickly right here, would be like this part right here at the top of the screen. 
this right here would be like my menu. And then a widget is this part that appears on the side of your WordPress blog. So once you get those set up, those are gonna appear on every page. So if I go into any page on my blog, you'll see at the top of the screen, my menu is still there. And over here on the side, my widget is still there, okay? So those are very critical for a WordPress blog. So jumping back over here, these are the initial things that you're gonna to wanna to get started in month one of starting your blog. Now let's move to month two. Okay, so in month one, you got everything set up as far as like those first pages on your WordPress blog. In month two, we're gonna focus a little bit more on creating the actual content. But before we create any content as far as blog posts go, we want to do our keyword research. Keyword research is when you go and research keywords that you can blog about that give you a good chance of ranking in Google. If you just go out there and blog about anything and everything, there's a very low chance that your blog articles are actually going to get found on Google. So there's a lot of different tools out there and I've got some links to some different tools that you can try out for keyword research. Some of the best tools are expensive and they charge a higher monthly fee, but they're very powerful and give you a lot more insight. But there are some free tools that you can use as well. You could use Google Keyword Planner. Uber Suggest by Neil Patel is another good free tool to use when you're just starting out. But come up with some keywords that you wanna write about. Make a list of keywords of, of what you could potentially blog about. So if you wanna create like, I don't know, like a notes app or something, you could have a, a note and then have like, keywords all listed out that you know have low difficulty that you can rank for and then you have ideas for blog blog articles and so then you think about the keyword and you can come up with like a title for each keyword and then you have the makings of your very first content marketing strategy so that would be number two coming up with a content strategy this kind of ties into you know having a uh a keyword list because once you get that list built out you're going to already kind of have a, a content strategy in the works you're going to know what keywords you want to write about so then you're going to start brainstorming okay what are the titles going to be for these posts and then you're going to start to think okay what am i going to write about in this actual blog article you can look at some competitive articles go search and see what's already out there see how you can make your articles better Look for trending topics on social media. That's another good place to find ideas for blog articles. If it's trending on Pinterest or Facebook or Twitter, it's probably a good topic to consider covering on your blog as well. Now that we have done our keyword research, we have a content strategy, we're gonna start writing our first blog posts. Okay, so in month two, we're now writing posts. We're typing out posts and if you can, you can try to schedule a little bit in advance. So like come up with a system. If you wanna blog twice a week, once a week, write a couple articles, get them scheduled out. And then from that point forward, as you write new articles, you can schedule them in advance so you can prepare yourself to promote the articles once they go live. And that is going to lead us into month number three. Month number three is all about getting social media set up. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your social media accounts all up and ready to go, especially Pinterest. Pinterest is the number one traffic source for a lot of bloggers today. So I highly recommend you consider Pinterest depending on what your blog niche is. If it is a blog niche that no, none of your audience is on Pinterest, then I could see uh, not going that direction. But if you appeal to women in any way, Pinterest is definitely gonna be something you're going to want to think about. When you get your Pinterest account set up, I highly recommend looking into automation, okay? These are tools that you can use to automate your Pinterest scheduling. I highly recommend Tailwind, okay? I've got a link right below this video to Tailwind. You can get a month of it free, but it makes pinning on Pinterest a whole lot easier and a whole lot more effective. So now that we're in month three, we already have our WordPress blog set up. We're starting to write our first post in month two. We've got a few things scheduled, ready to go. We have our social media accounts up and ready. Now it's all about 
promotion. You're going to need to promote your posts. When you're first starting out, you're not gonna get hardly any traffic from SEO, from Google search. Most of your beginning traffic is going to come from social media. So you're going to need to come up with some creative ways to promote your posts on social media. And this goes to tie back into uh, staying ahead of the game in month number two. Because if you think about it, if you're over here in month number two and you already have blog posts ready to go, so let's say you have, you know, three blog posts ready to go, over here in month three, you're gonna work on promoting these three blog posts to your social media accounts. You're not gonna be stressed trying to hurry and write a post and then hurry and promote it. You already have this stuff scheduled, so let's say, you know, this is scheduled for the 5th, this is scheduled for the 14th, and this is scheduled for the 23rd. Now you know you have everything up in advance, you can get your automation set up, you can create your pins, you can create your Instagram post, you can uh, create your Facebook post, you can automate all that stuff so that it automatically gets published the day after your post goes live. So if your, your blog post is going up on the 23rd, you have all this stuff scheduled and ready to go on the 23rd. You're ahead of the game. You don't even have to think about it. You're back here sitting, it's like the first of the month, and you're back here just sitting here happy because you have all of this stuff already scheduled out, ready to go. And then you're just starting to build momentum. In an upcoming video, we're gonna talk about how to continue the three month blogging strategy in two months, four, five, and six. What you can be doing to start to take your blog to the next level. This beginning part is just all about getting in rhythm, learning WordPress, learning about how to get your schedule dialed in, figuring out how to do your content strategy, and then we can work on some more advanced methods of promoting your blog posts. All right guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let me know where are you in your blogging strategy? Are you in month one, two, three? Are you farther along but you feel like you're still back at the beginning? Leave a comment and let me know where you're at and go help someone else out. If someone else has an idea in the comments below, give some, pe give some feedback for them as well. All right guys, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We'll see you in the next video.